All right, it is day one of my puzzle room renovation. I am so excited. We just got back from Home Depot. We got all the paint supplies and the paint. And today I don't actually think I'm gonna be painting, but I do want to do a couple things in here. So my first goal is to empty up these drawers and post them on Facebook Marketplace so hopefully someone buys them. And then I also need to remove these from here put the bookcase in the closet and then we're gonna start prepping for paint. So we have like these holes that I think this is where the crib was in their nursery. Um, so we're gonna fill all that up, maybe start taping, um, but just in general, just prepping for paint, which is so exciting. Right, it is much later in the day. Um, I've taken breaks here and there, but I have a lot of the furniture that is not going to be here out. And then I did tape the section for the navy wall and Dave filled in all the holes in the room. So. So the first coat is done for the navy blue wall. It's still drying, so it's still a lot brighter than it's going to dry down to, but let me show you what it looks like. I love it so much. So here we are. I know it's big glare on it, but I love the color and it's gonna get in, be a taupey gray on the other walls. And then here is where I'll have the dark wood shelving in it with the black accent so I feel like it's gonna be a really nice backdrop. I hope you can see my vision. I am so excited. It is several weeks later. Clearly as you can see that wall is done and we just finished taping off the rest of the room so we can paint the beige-ish cream color. So that's really exciting that we're slowly making progress. Um, Dave has helped me out painting today. He just helped me tape it, so it's going so much faster. Um, but I love the navy. Now we did, I did switch tape because the original tape was not sticking very well. So we'll have to redo the baseboard on that one um, and a little bit on the ceiling. But hopefully, but that will be like in the future. Not really worrying about it right now. We also know that if ever we sell this house, whenever that happens, we'll probably just have someone paint it professionally. So um, I think that like we're not super worried about being like pristine, but I do want it to look nice, you know. Um, but I'm excited that it's coming along. And again, we're just about to paint. We're gonna have lunch and then we're gonna start painting. So we are just about done painting the paintbrush stuff, so all the edges. We have Dave finishing up over there and then I get to do the roller and then hopefully we only need one coat because we're just painting over like a really light color with a light color so it's been pretty easy to cover. Um, so fingers crossed it's just a one coat job but I'm excited. I like the color. Um, it's a little bit more pink than I was expecting um, or like beigey than I was expecting but I think once it dries down I'll be fine. I'm really not too worried about it. Hey babe. I know it's not completely dry yet, and this is not the best lighting, but the wall is painted. I'm hoping you can tell, but I just finished painting 
and I know it looks like it has the worst lighting ever in this room. It kind of does. Um, but already with the change of color has drastically improved what it looks like in here. And especially the lighting, because before with that green, it always made you look ill. Um, but this actually looks really nice. And when I'm filming, I have like lights and such that I can use. So I'm not too worried about the lighting because I can fix the lighting. But I love the color and it came out so good. It's crazy how there's so much prep work to paint and then you actually take the roller out and it takes like 30 minutes. So after it dries, I'll put the furniture back, clean up the room, and I'll let you guys see what it looks like. And then that will be the end of this video. I'll let you guys see what it looks like without all this stuff in here. All right, it's been a few days and this is the navy blue side. And then, mm, I'll go. And then this is this color, which I know lighting in here has always been awful for us there's no overhead light eventually that's something we're going to do for like the whole house so it's going to be a bit before i get an overhead light but during like actual filming my goal is to just have like my i do have actual like filming lights that i can set up and then i can just leave them up which is really cool um i also made some decisions of what i'm doing with this wall um, my original plan was to do like some big huge contraption of like shelving on the wall like screwed in but we do know probably within like three to five years we're going to be moving out of this house and into maybe something different. Um, that's our goal anyways. And so we're just like not going to do some giant huge project like that that's going to be like a permanent fixture. So instead I think I'm going to do like a shelving unit. And I found something that I think will be perfect. I'm really excited about it. And then I still don't quite know what I'm doing with this wall, but it's going to be like, a, again, a, like a secondary filming backdrop. And then I need to get a table and a rug, but at least the painting is done. And I would say we did like a good, I would give us still like a B plus. You know, it's not perfect. There's some issues with it, especially our first baseboard that we did. I had used different painter's tape than normal and it was not the best idea but that's only with like this one wall and then the rest of the room is completely fine so let's give us like a b plus um but again if, if we were to sell this house we'd probably just get like professionally painted get it all done and then you know sell the house but that's in years time for me this is good enough for now and i'm so excited about it anyways stay tuned for this series i plan on getting like the shelving units relatively soon filling that up, kind of creating this space. And I hope you've been liking this little series. You know, I'm extremely fortunate to have a dedicated room for puzzles. I'm so excited about it to have this space and make it have a purpose. Um, but that's it for me. Anyways, I feel like I'm just rambling. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.